Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I am coming to you with a video that I had not planned on. I, for those of you who don't know, I actually plan out my videos for like the whole month. Like I know what videos I'm going to be filming and doing and stuff like that for the entire month. It just makes it easier on me that way I'm not like like frantically like oh my gosh what video should I put out this week? But I mean it does it does let me have a little bit of wiggle room in a way too that if I want to do something like this that I hadn't planned on, I can absolutely slot it in and take one of those videos and put them at another time. And that's fine. So the video that I originally was going to have for today, I hadn't actually filmed yet, so this worked out pretty well. Don't worry, that video will be up probably next month instead. Uh, it's another category, um, a category spotlight. But I guess you consider, con could consider this video in a way to be a category slash author spotlight, if you will. So this all came about yesterday um, on Sunday. I'm filming this on Monday. I was looking at my book cart and I was flipping through the books that I had up there and I ran across this one, The Willful Lady by Eva Rutland. So I have talked about this book before. I am in love with this cover. It is probably my favorite cover of a, of a book, period, ever, but definitely one of my favorite categories. I would love to get this blown up and put on my wall. So I was at work, or I was, I not at work, I wasn't, it was Sunday. No, I was working from home yesterday, that's why I was confused. So I was like at work, and I had decided that I wanted to pick this up and start reading it. I've got three other books on the go, so frankly, what's one more at this point? So I decided to pick this one up, and I was like, I wonder if I can get a copy of it digitally um, so I could read the digital edition of it because I do sometimes prefer to read on my Kindle. And I looked and I couldn't find anything. So then I was clicking on the author's profile on Amazon to see what other books that she had written. And that's where this all started from. So I found out so much about the amazing Eva Rutland that I wanted to sit down and just do an entire video not a very long video, it's not going to be a terribly long video, but I wanted to share with you about this amazing author, this amazing woman, okay? Like, this is why I love category. Like, you know, I know category romance gets a bad rap because it's, like, considered to be, like, throwaway or this, that, and the other thing, and, like, these are dime store type novels, and I'm sorry about the lighting, you guys, it's in the afternoon, um, filming this on my lunch break, but, um, I want to talk to you about how awesome this lady is because she's awesome. So a lot of this I'm pulling from Wikipedia. I do apologize. I know it's probably not the most accurate, but we're going to go with it because that's what I'm pretty sure it's fairly accurate. Um, but yeah, so I want to talk about Eva Rutland. So I'm going to hold the book up for most of this just so you guys have something to look at. So she was born in Atlanta, Georgia um, on uh, what's her date of birth? January 15th. 1917. She was born in 1917, you guys. Unfortunately, she passed away on March the 12th of 2012. So she's been gone for a decade. 12? Yeah, for a decade, right? At least a, a little over a decade. She was the author of more than 20 novels, okay? Uh, she was the author of When We Were Colored, a Mother's Story, and also the novel No Crystal Stare, and is the winner of the 2000 Golden Pen Award for Lifetime Achievement. She also wrote Category Romance, you guys. Like, come on. So I'm going to pop her picture up here. I think I'm almost certain this is, this is what she looks like. Like, this is when I search her picture, this is what comes up. So I'm going to have this up here as well. And I think as I talk, I'm going to kind of flip through the covers of some of her books so you guys can kind of get an overview. So early life, like this woman is amazing. She was born in Atlanta, Georgia in 1917. Like I said, Rutland is the granddaughter of a former slave who sent all of his children through college. Does she just not get better and better? Um, or her, her and her family? So her mother was a school teacher, her father was a pharmacist, and she attended segregated schools her entire life and graduated from Spielman College in 1937. She married Bill, Rutten, Bill Rutland, a civilian with the Tuscany, Tuskegee, Tuskegee, is that how you say it? T-U-S-K-E-G-E, -E, Tuskegee, I think, Airmen. The Air Force moved Bill to Ohio, then Sacramento, 
Uh, he and Eva built a home, made new friends, and raised four children in Sacramento. So, yeah, she's awesome. Her, her background is awesome. Her family background is awesome. So, um, Eva Rutland published her first memoir in 1964. The, it was called The Trouble with Being Mama, a Negro Mother on the Anxieties and Joys of Bringing Up a Family. The book, updated and republished in 2007 as When We Were Colored, A Mother's Story. So I'll flash that cover up here. Chronicles the lives of an ordinary yet extraordinary colored family. Now it says here it's colored in quotation marks. So that's not me saying that. That's this here. Um, as they move from segregation to integration. In, I can't say that word integration during the turbulent civil rights era of the 1950s and 1960s. Sounds like a good book. In the 1950s, Rutland realized that she was going blind. Okay. When you get incapacitated and you can't see or can't move around as you should, then you're kind of at a loss, she says. So you have to find something to do. And I think that's when I found my writing. So when she was going blind, she decided to pick up writing. I, I, this woman is my new favorite person ever, honestly, honestly. Um, it says she had been blind from muscular degeneration throughout most of her career. Her first published romance was the inspirational title, A Report of Love in 1985. She didn't write her first romance novel until 1985. So let's do the math, my friends. 1985 minus 19, 1917. She didn't write her first romance novel until she was 68 years old. God bless her soul. I, I have this voice in my head going, and what's your excuse? <laughs> Is she what? That's amazing. That is amazing. As an author for Harlequin Romance, uh, Eva Rutland has had published 18 books, including other genres. Rutland has published more than 20 books. So she published more than 20 books in her life. That is amazing. No Crystal Stare, Stare, S-T-A-I-R. Eva Rutland's, I'll pop a cover of it up here. Eva Rutland's first mainstream novels chronicle six, six decades of American history through the experience experiences of Anne Elizabeth Carter Metcalf and her family. Rutland's semi-autobiographical novel takes its title from the stanza in Langston Hughes's 1922 poem, Mother to Son. Both the poem and the novel carry messages of hope and, pres and preservance, preservance in the face of life's disappointments. The book is a departure from Rutland's earlier works. The author, who occasionally includes African-American characters in her novels, has taken a frank, head-on look at racism. In addition, her use of language may surprise many familiar with her work. She died in Sacramento, California on March 12, 2012, at the age of 95. She's amazing. So here are her books, you guys. I wanted to share this with you because she wrote a number, of course, of Harlequin novels. So I'll pop the covers up here as I mention them. So we have To Love Them All from March of 1988, Harlequin Romance, number 2897. At First Sight, November of 1988, Harlequin, Amer Harlequin Romance, 2944. Matched Pair in May of 89, Harlequin Regency Romance, number one. So this is one of the Regency Romances. Um, the Vicar's Daughter in February of 1990, another Regency Romance, book number 20. Enterprising Lady in June of 1990, another um, Regency Romance, number 28. No Accounting for Love, July of 1990, Harlequin Romance 3064. The Willful, La the Willful Lady, March of 91, Regency Romance number 45. That is this puppy right here. And guys, I'm two chapters in and I'm absolutely loving this book, by the way. This was also published in June of, 20 in June of 2001 as a Mills and Boone historical romance novel. If I'm able to find a cover for it, I'll pop it up here. Always Christmas in December of 92, Harlequin Romance, number 3240. 
Uh, Granetta Bride uh, in January of 93, Harlequin Regency Romance 89. Foreign Affair in October of 93, Harlequin Romance 3283. Private Dancer in June of 86, Harlequin Romance 3412. Marriage Bait in January of 97, Harlequin Romance 3439. A Child's Christmas in December of 97, Harlequin Super Romance, 769. The Wedding Trap in January of 98, Harlequin Romance, 3490. The Million Dollar Marriage, Har uh, August of 98, Harlequin Romance, number 3518. Her Own Prince Charming, April of 99, Harlequin Romance, 3550. Almost a Wife, September of 2000, Harlequin Romance, 3621, and her final book um, for under romance novels, Heart and Soul, came out in February of 05, Harlequin Super Romance, 1255, and the other two books, which were already talked about, The Trouble with Being Mama, uh, came out in 1964, and When We Were Colored, came out in May 2007, which was the same book just updated and republished with a different author, or not a different author, with a different um, uh, title. And then her other fiction was the No Crystal Stare, which came out in February of 2000. So she was pretty awesome, you guys. She was pretty freaking awesome. So do yourselves a favor, jump on Thrift Books. A couple of her books are available on Kindle. Um, they're part of the Harlequin Treasury editions. Uh, so go and have a look on, on, on Amazon, type in her name, see what comes up for the Kindle, make a purchase, check them out. If you can find a copy of this one on Thrift Books so far, I'm really enjoying it. Again, sorry about the light, you guys. But yeah, I'm going to end this video here because my lighting is getting bad, but I do hope that you guys will check her out. Ah! Her books are amazing. And I am so thrilled that you know, I found out more about her because typically, you know, we pick up a book, even if it's a new to us author, especially romance readers, because we read so vivaciously that we, we, we read these books, but we don't really dive into the authors. And like I said, this author is my new favorite human. Like she is pretty spec or she was pretty spectacular. So give her a read, give her some love posthumously, if you will. And yeah. So anyway, guys, that is all that I have for this video today. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've read this author, um, if you're hunting out some of her books now. I want to know all the things. And until my next video, everybody, take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, guys.